Hello everyone, we're about to announce the results of the ABP Angus Youth Challenge live here on YouTube. The finalists are Belfast Royal Academy, Enniskillen Royal Grammar School, Rainy Endowed Mahra Felt and St Louis Grammar School Ballymena. We'll find out who's won in just a few minutes time, but first let's hear from George Mullen, Managing Director of ABP Northern Ireland, who sums up the ethos of the competition. The challenge is all about ABP uh, setting up a competition to offer calves out to school children. It's about education and awareness of, of beef farming. They're the farmers of tomorrow, they're the future, they're the factory workers, they're the processors and the managers of, of our business going forward. So we really want to connect with them. The competition has had great support from everyone across the board and in particular it has received a lot of media publicity. Two of the DJs at Cool FM and Downtown have given their enthusiastic backing to the teams. Hi there, it's Pete Snodden from Cool FM just stopping by to say many congratulations on completing the ABP Angus Youth Challenge. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I've got to see some of your work on Facebook and it looks really impressive. So many, many congratulations. Hi guys, it's Kirsty from Downtown here. I just wanted to say what a super job you've done with your projects this year. So well done. I'm sure you're going to do well, whatever you end up doing in the future. So best of luck. Well done again and have a great summer. Our teams have spent the last 18 months participating in the ABP Angus Youth Challenge and over that time each has reared their own calves through to beef and benefited from their sale to ABP. Each finalist team will be receiving a trophy to mark their hard work and achievement. First up, the entrepreneurial team from Belfast Royal Academy. They were given the theme of farm finance and worked on a city farm model of investment for their project. I think for all of us, the thing we're probably most proud about is the legacy we've left. Like when we started this, the whole idea of the competition within the school was unheard of and it was kind of people thought it was a bit odd. I would definitely recommend it to other teenagers to take part because from our own experience, we've definitely gained knowledge of the agriculture industry and how our beef is actually produced and the whole process behind it. How the Aberdeen Angus breed enhances the sustainability of farming in County Fermanagh was the theme challenge for Enniskill and Royal Grammar. The team's hard work helped to raise the profile of their recently merged school under its new name. We're very proud of all the work and effort that went into producing our final project as well as all the effort that went into producing our five Angus Cross calves and calves through to finishing. Well, we've really been able to develop our teamwork skills, obviously meeting together as a team, and communication skills, um, speaking with members of the public at like the likes of Clocker Valley Show and different things that we've attended, as well as IT and presentation skills. In the school, uh, throughout the course of the competition, we have been very well supported by staff and pupils. We're very grateful for all the support that we received through fundraising events, questionnaires and any information days that we were holding. Now the team from Rainy really Endowed Mahara Felt championed the important theme of roles and challenges of women on Northern Ireland farms. The group investigated how male and female roles could be combined so that both family and farm business could thrive. They identified benchmarking as a solution to ensure performance and achieve best practice. They conducted a survey at the Royal Ulster Winter Fair that showed that 90% of those polled didn't adopt benchmarking and everyone they talked to felt that women in agriculture were essential to its success. The team were inspired by successful women in Northern Ireland farming and that led them to create a slogan from Angus to Aga. St Louis Grammar School in Ballymena wanted to promote the model of family farming. They introduced a Farmers Friends School notice board to profile a different pupil every month who came from a family farm background. So let's hear from them. <music> What I've enjoyed most about the competition is getting to work with friends and taking part in something that I really, really enjoy, which is farming. And getting to rear the calves and seeing them progress and um, thrive 
was really, really good. And just all around take part and meeting other friends from other schools also taking part in the competition. Throughout the Angus Youth Challenge, the things that I am most proud of are the presentations we have made at the start, going into competition through videos and at Lochry presenting to judges, as well as the teamwork that we presented when we were rearing the calves through to finishing, as we were all working together as mates from start to finish, and no fallouts, and all worked well. So we're nearly at the moment we've all been waiting for, but before I announce the winners, here's a message from someone who knows what motivation, determination and success are all about. Katie Mullen, captain of the Irish ladies hockey team, comes from a farming background and she sent us this message. I want to begin by congratulating all of you boys and girls for completing the ABP Angus Youth Challenge. You've all put in an incredible amount of hard work over the last year and that hasn't gone unnoticed. For me, growing up on a farm taught me some incredibly valuable lessons. It taught me to both be fearless, which I've taken with me throughout my hockey career, and it also taught me the importance of hard work. All those early mornings getting up to help my dad on the farm showed me that once you put in that hard work, you will down the line get success from it, which I have found through my hard work and training on the hockey pitch. Thanks again for uh, taking part and I wish you all the very best of luck in the future. And remember to stay your social distance because it's important at this time that we as a young generation do what we need to in order to look after our elderly and vulnerable. Thanks very much for that, Katie. So now we're on to the first award, which is for the personal commitment of an individual team member to this competition. So the nominees for the outstanding achievement by an individual are Lorcan Convery from Belfast Royal Academy, James Ritchie from Enniskillen Royal Grammar, Kelly Stewart from Rainey and Dowd, and Thomas O'Kane from St Louis Grammar. So, let's see. And the winner is Lorcan Convery from Belfast Royal Academy. And Lorcan, according to the judges, won this award because of his firm grasp of marketing and business principles. The judges said they were astonished at his ability at such a young age, so well done Lorcan. And now we have a second award to make for Outstanding Achievement by an Individual, and this one goes to... Kelly Stewart from Rainy and Dowd. Well done Kelly, brilliant stuff. The judges have described Kelly as a fitting young ambassador for all that is good about Northern Ireland agriculture and she has a bright future ahead of her. So again, well done Kelly. And now we're on to the runner-up in the competition. And in second place in the ABP Angus Youth Challenge, it's... Enniskillen Royal Grammar School. Very well done guys, very well done. And the judges said they displayed attention to detail, in-depth research, work ethic, and a pursuit of knowledge on every aspect of beef production in County Fermanagh. And they also raised more than 4,000 pounds for the Northern Ireland Air Ambulance. And as a Fermanagh woman myself, I'm very proud of you. So now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We're about to announce the overall winner of the 2018 to 2020 ABP Angus Youth Challenge. And the winner is St Louis Grammar School, Balamina. Well done, guys. Great stuff. And here's what the judges said. The boys demonstrated a deep level of understanding of cost of production. They showed entrepreneurial flair by sponsorship for their feed. And they also understand the needs of today's consumer and how the Northern Ireland family farming model can address these with an evident attention to animal welfare. So big congratulations again to all our winners today and from everyone at ABP and the Northern Ireland Angus Producer Group, goodbye for now and take care.